I'm going to provide a quick demonstration of our MATLAB flight path generator GUI. So if you run this, first thing is to load the image file. And I'm going to pick this aerial web. So it presents this plot of a, a bit, bit, bitmap or JPEG image. Then select points uses that read point function. It's really nice. And then you can just go through and manually select the points. It doesn't do anything automatic. Uh, and you can be as finely detailed as you want, as whatever GPS you're using, whatever that supports. But if we do it this way, then we can go to middle of T, all the way down, back up again, middle of the E, and then finally, second last point, and last point. And you can take care to make them exactly how you want. Once you're done, you can press any key or right click. I just right clicked and it has 22 points selected. So the next series of controls are the reference point in lat long degrees. And what I picked here is the coordinates for the Lee Summit Airport, KLXT. Uh, the next one is the reference point. So you have the option of choosing bottom left, bottom right, top left, top right, center, or any one of the 22 points. And the, 20, the, the points are convenient if you want to align with a runway. For instance, if you were departing runway 18 and wanted to go right along with T, and sort of minimize any offshoot, you could do it that way. Uh, in this case, for a demonstration, I'm just going to pick bottom left. And so it'll do a little marker here to indicate that the bottom left is the reference point. Um, you can customize the flight path width. I'll do 15. And if we click on generate path, it'll have generated that path, switch the command window. And it, right now, I have it outputting in a ver format with the ampersand or in sort of the conventional lat lon format with you know, comma and space separation. But if I just copy these, control C and switch to sky vector, I can dump them in, press enter. And now I have a flight path vote and it'll to, uh, give you the total distance and you can estimate the time it would take you uh, in order to fly this. Uh, some GPSs let you dump it in. I put a VAR format because if you're using a VAR, it's an easy copy paste into the new flight plan. I think some other GPSs will as well. 